Well, hey there, golf fans. On the journey to breaking 100, or 90, on an easy course. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to go through the bag, show you what's in the bag. And so I've, I think I say bag, like I'm from Wisconsin and Minnesota, because I was born in Minnesota, raised in Wisconsin, so I say bag. Not big, bag, I say bag. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna go through. Um, I need to clean my clubs as well, so there'll be a little cleaning, a little chatting, and show you uh, how fantastically great my golf clubs are. So here we go. All right. Well, so we'll start off with uh, we'll start with wedges. This is my 60 degree. It's a Mizuno Pro Tour Model 60 degree U Groove. Um, I got this one. I got a couple Mizunos. I think. When I was in, so a lot of these clubs, not a lot of them, a few of them are from when I lived in Montana during college and a buddy of mine, Tim Cuphart and I, we um, we worked at a country club for the summer and we got to play free golf at this country club because we were servers in the restaurant. And so it was at the base of um, the, the Bridger Mountains in Bozeman, Montana. And so I got these, I think I got them at a second hand store I bought them used so I got a 60 degree one and then this is the 56 degree so I got a 56 degree same thing Mizuno Pro uh, tour model something and so I remember my buddy Tim saying yeah those are those are good you should get those no idea if they really are I feel like Mizuno makes some decent clubs though so those uh, that's my 56 and then I got my 60, and then this is a uh, um, this is my 52. So this is my gap. This is from Giga Golf. So Giga Golf is where I got uh, all my irons, which I'll show you here in a second. And so those guys are. Well, I'll show you them here in a second. But this is like I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, it's black. That's awesome. But I stink at this club. I need to get a lot better at it. So I never actually use it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna walk you through, these are my regular irons. So um, I got a seven iron here. So these guys, I got these from a website called Giga Golf and I got them for my birthday, maybe like, I don't know, eight years ago, maybe even more than that. But I like, I got really, I was trying to find some irons cause I needed new irons. The ones that I had were, I think the same ones that I had in high school, they're like Wilson's. And I, I was missing a couple of them and one of them was bent. And and so anyways, I found this website called Giga Golf and they do knockoff clubs, but like, you know, not, they're, they, they make them and then they custom fit them. So these are, they're called Turbo Powers. They don't make them anymore. And they were made to resemble the, um, the Nike Slingshots at the time, which I thought looked really cool. They have like this hollow cavity with this, this weighted back. And like overall, they're not awful. They have a really, a really thick sole, uh, which is good for people like me that are terrible at golf. So I have these, I have three, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight pitching wedge. Um, I used to have a nine iron and then my kids left it somewhere at some point and it's no longer able to be found. So currently, I don't really have a nine iron. Anyway, so this is, uh, yeah, this is what they are. These are my irons. Turbo power. It's pretty great. I like them a lot. Uh, the other thing, I, you know, with my irons, I, I toyed with the idea of getting some single length irons. I, um, Giga Golf actually has a single length. And I think for like a set of irons, it's like, you know, between 160 and $190 for a whole set. So super reasonable. Um, and they do have them kind of custom fitted like for your, your lie angle and that sort of thing. So, but I just don't, I don't have any money left for that. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, next up we got the putter. So the putter that I have is a, it's called a, a carbite polar balanced. So I got this in, I think I got, I got, I got this in Montana too. I think I got it at the same store where I found those, um, those wedges and actually got one more club too that I'll show you there in a second. I don't know, I've never really tried another putter other than the one that I had before this one like way back in high school. Um, 
But it's fine. I feel like, I don't know, maybe at some point another putter with, you know, like those double balls or something to kind of help with the balancing would be good. But for right now, this is fine. And it, it'll help me uh, get my stroke down. So, carbite. All right, next up is my, I think it's a five wood. I don't really know. It just, these are things that I should probably know as a golfer. But it's a 15 degree, let's call it a five wood. Um, this is an Orlamar Tri-Metal. So actually, I got, I got this one in Montana too. And I don't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't very much, but I've always really, really liked this club. It's super old. Um, it's a graphite firm shaft and uh, still has the original grip, which is probably bad because it's, I got it in college and it was used then and I'm 40. So we're probably talking at least a 20 year old grip. So that's a, that's a great thing. It's a great thing. Uh, but it feels really good to swing. And um, sometimes I can just put this thing on a rope, but other times like I can duff it as well, like I did on my round last weekend. So, um, but I, I do like this club and it's probably because it's the only one I've ever had that's a fairway wood. So yeah, Orlamar Tri-Metal, 15 degree, good stuff. All right, and last club in the bag, we have uh, my driver, which is a recent addition to the bag actually, just as of last weekend. So this is the TaylorMade R11 and uh, has a regular flex shaft, which I, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out what my swing, normal swing speed is. I think actually on Saturday, one of the guys that we were with had the swing speed thing where you could check it. And that was 108. Um, and I was just kind of swinging fa fairly normal, not trying to like crush it out of the sky. Uh, so hopefully with some work, I can, I can make that better. Um, but yeah, so this is the driver before this, I had an old, old tailor made that I got it again in Montana, but the head had a bunch of rattling in it. So it was like broken. And so I was excited to get something that wasn't broken. Um, so this is what I have right now. I don't have the tool to adjust anything. Um, so it just is what it is. It's in a closed position right now on the weight on the back, which is probably a good thing. Cause I tend to slice the ball. Uh, as evidence last weekend as well on the on the hole number 13 which was the disqualifying hole uh so yeah so it's cool it's a nine degree and um i'm excited i i like that i have a driver that's not broken all right so this is the golf bag from montana so just for context i was out there the summer of 2002 for the summer um and that's where actually i proposed to my wife which is super cool so yeah, so this is the bag and uh, it's a tour series by Burton. I think I got it for $30 maybe. I thought it was so cool because it had the kickstand. Um, one of the, the little nubs on the kickstand on the left-hand side there is um, broken off and uh, it doesn't work super well. So I've actually been trying to figure out if I should try and find another one. Been keeping an eye on Facebook Marketplace, but for the time being, it, it's fine. It looks old and uh, worn out just like me as a 40 year old. So. There you go, there's the bag. All right, so that's what's in the bag. Uh, you saw everything. You saw the bag, you saw all the clubs, and um, that's what I got to work with right now. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time on my journey to break 100 on a difficult golf course here in Iowa. See you next time.